Yo, what's up everybody? People of the YouTubes, how are you doing? We got the hot Naja play here versus Poseidon. It's funny, I actually went into this matchup, forgot to ban Kronos and said, Oh, I'm gonna do a YouTube video because I've never I haven't fought Kronos on like a shitty god in so long to demonstrate why Kronos is OP. Um, and also, you know, possibly we can pop off, beat a fucking Kronos with, with fucking Naja, and, you know, gain all the hype. So, yeah. <laughs> he picked Poseidon. Who who would have guessed the one time I leave fucking Kronos open, my opponent picks Poseidon. Because I was doing a YouTube video only would this happen, man. Any other time that I leave Kronos open, it is an insta Kronos lock-in within two seconds. But because I said, you know what, I want him to pick Kronos, the game said, you know what, nah. Nah. Or the universe, rather. And made Sinojir pick Poseidon. We just took down Sinojir's soul with Fenrir, and that's pretty hype. Unfortunately, not a YouTube video. Bad day. That would have been a good one for the YouTube, too. At least we got the Ratatasker game up, dude. That's all I care about. Um, so, we got... Like I said, Naja, or like I've said before, uh, we've played this matchup quite a few times. Um, or on the opposite side of the spectrum, though, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's so much on uh, YouTube, but definitely on Twitch. For some reason, I've fought uh, a good many Najas with Pos uh, with Poseidon, um, and sometimes vice versa. But yeah, here is the deal. Naja has the ultimate that could, if channeled correctly, get you out of dodge. There you go. Not only the ultimate, homies, but the fucking sash. So <laughs> that illustrates my point perfectly. Uh, if you have that sash available, man, it is a get out of jail free card against Poseidon's Kraken there. I'm actually surprised because I thought I was uh, crippled there. And you can't cri uh, use the sash while you're crippled, right, you guys? So was I? did the cripple just like end at the very, you know, is that what happened? So hype, though. There go the plays. Oh, Caesar! I recommend you try to hit up ATR. Is ATR in chat? I don't think so. ATR, I summon you. We need to, we need to find a rhyming chant that summons ATR. You can sash out of cripple. Okay. Yeah, the sash has immunity frames, so that's... Sorry if I seem ignorant not knowing whether we you can sash out of cripple or not. I wouldn't think you could, but apparently if you can, it's kind of fucking hype. But yeah, uh, whether we win this or not, main point I wanted to illustrate is sash is incredibly underrated. Naja in the new game mode might actually be ridiculously strong, or in the reworked joust, might be very strong only uh, because he has a lot of options... Uh, with his sash and the way his ultimate works to counteract uh, certain gods and now the way that beads is being changed uh, There's a lot less opportunity to just negate Naja ult all the time uh, And there's a lot more early game aggression. So I don't know man and a god with a self heal uh, Versus you know uh, tank while well, he not versus uh, a self heal while fighting the fucking fire giant buff like that's pretty sick So Naja has potential and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this god uh Transitions into the um, into the updated Joust map. The hype is real. Yeah, I, I don't want to check the next time he fucking pulls. So that was the thing. I mean, it looks like I can. Well, I'm, I, I don't know. Look at that heal. It's so fucking dank, dude. It's so much heal. Enemies have returned to base, haven't they? That's another thing you can do. So he has many, many options against the Poseidon here. All of which will lead to your imminent death. Fuck, man. I really thought we had the opportunity there. Like, I'm actually surprised that we didn't. I, I guess the reason being is that the ultimate had to be used um, defensively, entirely defensively to avoid the Kraken. At this point now, without, um, without a lead going into mid-game Poseidon, I don't like the look, man. Or not even without a lead, but with with uh, uh, at a disadvantage like this. This is going to be pretty rough. I'm going to try my best, though. 
Yeah, I'm surprised. I really overestimated how much uh, burst we would have there. Um, I guess I kind of thought that I'd have another two coming up soon and I could heal, but clearly, you know, it was nowhere to be found within the rest of that engagement. Uh, uh, he got me. He played it very well because he hit the, uh, I believe it was, you know, almost fully stacked. Uh, He hit the almost fully stacked uh, tidal surge thingy, right? Yep, okay, so you can use it while crippled. Con fucking firm. And he's dead. Nice. Nice. That's see that's that's beautiful to me. To me, that's got like <laughs> I didn't know you could use it while crippled. That's actually incredible. That's pretty. That's pretty important uh, to know, actually, as a Naja player. I probably could have asked any, you know, uh, jungler that question, and they would have been able to give me the answer. Um, wow, I feel so ignorant for not knowing that because I played, you know, a decent amount of Naja, but it's not enough that I would know that. It's pretty, you know, it's a pretty intricate thing, and especially playing Joust. There's not always an option to uh, to use, uh, you know, to have to sash while crippled. There's not that many, you know, uh, cripples that come into play that that well in Joust. So. Other than the Poseidon. Um, so that's pretty cool because some gods like a Wheelix, she, when she's crippled, she can't use her two. So she can't use the Feather Step, whereas Naja can use Sash. That's pretty rough. It's a rough life. So she has to beads. And Naja is just chilling over here. Yeah, it surprises me as well that you can use it. That's why I'm over here looking like a dum-dum. All right, so this is a very good game now, uh, or a very good look for us, because we have at least half a level uh, of experience lead. I'm going to go sprint two so that we don't... Uh, so that if he's, you know, not within range for the sash or, you know... Uh, I, I don't know if him beading it would uh, bring me out of the uh, immunity frames or something, but... Uh, you know, just so that I don't have to rely on... And, you know, if my sash is down... I, I always have the sprint two to rely on, and it's you know it's it's a very important thing to have in general. So he's got his beads back up, um, and you know we might be able to force them. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Mm, I shouldn't have taken that like to the chin, you know. We have a lot of bursts here, so if he looks to you know come back in on this wave, we have the potential to turn. So I doubt that he will. Yeah, he ain't he ain't looking so too hot right now definitely though uh this is an advantageous matchup for poseidon without a doubt it's just naja has some some cute tricksies and uh some early game swag man to really kind of turn the uh turn the tide <laughs> yeah, poseidon. so yeah he's, he's he's got some tricks up his sleeve and uh he has some you know maneuverability for uh uh, for and you know a lower tier god against you know such a uh, such a joust monster as Poseidon. Poseidon really known to dominate the uh, earlier tiers uh, of joust. You know like if you pick Poseidon, I always forget to recommend Poseidon to people that are you know lower level or mid level really. I guess not low level but mid level. Um, and they're like you know I'm plat. I'm trying to figure out how to climb joust and I can't really seem to do it. Oops. Um, I, you know, definitely a big recommendation should be Poseidon because he beats so many gods, um, and he has just solid, uh, solid matchups overall. Damn. Okay, okay. You going in here? You going in? Is that what you're doing? But we're doing this, you and I? Fuck me, I suck. I fucking juked it. Get at me, son. I knew it was coming, and I juked it. Let's go. Mm. That was a close one. That was a fucking close one. You don't even know how close that was. That was a frame difference, my man. So we've uh, amassed quite a little bit of a lead here. Uh, not so much in gold, but the experience is really, really showing. It's very hard to get a steady lead over a competent Poseidon. Like, this guy's a Masters, Jouster, and a Masters Conquest. One of the top uh, Masters Conquest players, too, actually. Or one of the top, you know, TP. I don't know about, like, ELO-wise. Uh, 
but TP, you know, he, this guy definitely is logged in quite a few games, um, and he knows, you know, he knows his stuff. So, on the odds are, even with a lead here, like I have, I'm not going to dominate him in the farm game, uh, as far as gold Yahoo! goes. Yo, Mowgli with the two months. Thank you so much, Mowgli. I love you, Mowgli. Thank you, and I love your name. Thanks so, so much. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Poseidon has extremely potent clear, and uh, it's so simple, the clear as well. He's really not going to uh, let too much go down here and allow me to snowball too hard. So I just got to keep, you know, working up. Oh. Nah, son. I said no. Nah. There we go again. Beautiful. Not suit my own horn, but it was pretty beautiful, right? Alright, we're going back in. With the speed buff here, we might be able to get a look at him with the sash from deep! Alright, nice, nice. Slow him. Where you going, baby? It was looking like rip for him. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So we just have to manipulate the fact that uh, he cannot confirm a Kraken. What he's doing wrong here uh, is he's really, he's angling the Krakens so that, or not angling them, but positioning the Kraken so that he's right on top of the Kraken with me. Um, and it's just way too easy for me to get that grab on him. He's not throwing the Kraken and juking. He's just like, you know, standing directly on top of me and throwing the Kraken, making it all that you know, all the much easier to just get him with a quick sash. If he's right there, point blank, it's very simple for me to just, you know, uh, to get that off. So we're kind of, you know, dominating, abusing that uh, that factor. It's very similar to uh, the matchups where I'll abuse the fact that Neath has a very, very quick escape for, um, let's see, a very quick escape for the Kraken with her three. Uh, Poseidon's will often lay down the Whirlpool and immediately use the Kraken. And before that first tick of damage sets in, Neath can always backflip and like nine out of 10 times you'll get their Kraken. Uh, same kind of deal here. We're forcing the Kraken, then using the Sash each time. And it's just completely overwhelming him here because he's relying entirely on that Kraken to, uh, to win the engagement. Use the two to get some nice fucking tower damage in here. That might have been a good position for him to use the Kraken. I like that. That was that was smart. That was very smart. Um, I was going to say he should have used the Kraken there because he was... Uh, uh. Got him, though. We're too far ahead now, baby. The crits are real. The snowball has rolling. Oh, my God. I definitely just said has rolling too. I meant like has begun rolling. I created a whole new fucking tense for the word, you know? Let's do it. Well, has rolling. It has rolling, but I meant has begun rolling. It has. No, I think I'm good. I think we. That, that made sense. You guys tell me in the comments down below. That's how all the YouTubers do it, right? Let me know in the comments down below. And they always point. Yahoo! Yo, Iazo, thank you so much for the sub, man. Iazo, the fucking god. I cannot believe how close we are to the 450 mark already, you guys. In one month, we went from 400, and now we're at 433. And I wasn't even able to stream that much this month because of uh, because of SWC. So, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you for always keeping me going and uh, just, you know, showing so much support and making me love what I do here. I love you guys, and thank you so fucking much. Yahoo! What the... Run down, man. 100. Thank you so much, man. The sweet double sub. Thank you, guys. Holy shit, run down, man. Welcome back, my man, and thank you, dude. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna go... So, Shield of the Underworld, entirely un uh, underrated against... Oh, this man did not go with Shield of the Underworld. This is looking really good for us. If ever there was a time to snowball, it's when my man does not have a Shield of the Underworld versus Najah's burst here. Um, he is going Fatalis. It's going to be hard to put up with, but we're going Frostbound, um, which is why he's going the Sprint as well. He wants to really, you know, escape, uh, escape our, um, what's the word, uh, escape our 
uh, escape us, man. He's just, he's just looking to escape, you know. It's, a, it's quite that simple. He's looking to escape <laughs> when we engage on him. Um, but the sprint is not always going to be up, so the frostbound I still think is entirely relevant here. Rundown, thank you so much for the return sub, my dude. Big love and chat for Rundown, man, you guys. Hardest part, of course, for any melee is sieging this fucking phoenix, man. There is almost no way for me to safely get poke on it, given that I am a, uh, a melee god. Shit. See, I'm going to be really mad if I end up dying for this anyway. I actually saw him go the other way. I don't know why I did, but I did. I legitimately watched him and said, okay, he's going around the rock. I'm going to try to trip him up. And he was definitely right behind me. Fuck, man. So these are the types of misplays that often happen when you're trying to get Phoenix damage in there. As you can see, what caused that engagement to go sour? I was trying to get some Phoenix damage in uh, during a point where I had a, you know, a massive lead. Um, and it cost me. It cost me the, my life, my tower, and, you know, he's got more Phoenix damage than I have now. And that's just so unfortunate, man. What's up, Cindy? How you doing? It's really, really just... It goes to show just how imbalanced the game mode can really be. Uh, because if he was in a similar position, you know, he... Not only would he not have died, most likely, but he wouldn't have gotten... Uh, or But I wouldn't have gotten anything off of it. Whereas he now has uh, pretty much control of this game going forward. I don't like it. I don't like it, man. But we gotta choose our battles more smartly. We have to outplay rather than force uh, the engagements on him. We have to be the ones uh, to patiently await his his move. Um, while he doesn't have to make a move and he can just boringly sit here the whole fucking game at his Phoenix, which is really what drives me nuts and what drives me to make such poor decisions like diving their Phoenix there. Uh, when it's clearly a bad idea. It's just that if he wants, he can make the game go on forever like that. Um, and I fucking hate it, man. Wow, I'm not doing any damage to him at all. Holy crap. Okay, I mean, we got... We got the Kraken. If we can somehow get in on this Phoenix... I mean, we're not going to. But if we could... If we could, though. Nah, man. Fuck my whole life. It's just, it's so difficult. In mid pain! Thank you! What the fuck, you guys? Holy shit! Sub goal three, just fucking killed it. Hour and 40 minutes. No problem. Easy peasy. In mid pain, thank you so much. Welcome to the Shadow Realm, my dude. Thank you so much for the sub. Ah, it's just not looking good, man. I'm gonna go Aussie and just hope that I can contest his uh, his damage here. I mean, I really need some more. I need more life steal. I need more auto attack. So Aussie kind of seems like the uh, the best way to go for me. It just sucks, man. Like we played it so well, and yet as it goes on, it just becomes more and more heavily in Poseidon's favor because Naja is all about early burst, and as you can see, we're just not doing any burst damage right now so i have to transition to auto attack and auto attack on naja is very weak if i were to go crit here now because he doesn't have shield of the underworld he still has double defense plus um a warlock sash that's way too much health for us to deal with um and it's not you know the i i mean we could yolo it yolo go full crit like maybe i'll consider it for you guys That still applied the damage to me, which is a problem, but we should still be okay here. Oh, fuck. That's really unfortunate. We can catch him with this. It did, and it does slow, but we're not going to have enough damage, I don't think, to, to push in here. No. Damn. Damn, man. Maybe we would have if we hit that, but can't really tell, you know. Hard to tell because you just, you never know how much damage you can actually get off in this in this type of a situation because he's so tanky. He's so unexpectedly tanky because he's a fucking Poseidon and yet he's this tanky, you know. You shouldn't be this tanky, but you are. Does he have a Kraken? Am I about to hate my whole life? Wow. 
it's a rough life, man. How do you build Poseidon? I mean, in this type of matchup, this is a perfect build. Uh, like I said, I don't think there's much I can do about it. It's it's a ton of health, just enough defense, and um, it's the Fatalis to uh, to really keep him out of these engagements, uh, out of the close range engagements, and you know, ah uh, man, what a shame. Had we gotten that kill, that would have been fucking beautiful. So, like I said, maybe I can transition into full crit here, sell everything and just YOLO it, but I really don't know if it'll work out. With a 400 pot, we didn't have a 400 pot there, so, right? I don't think we we did, so I'll try one more engagement without and see what we can do. He's going to have a 3k pot, though. I think he already does. That sucks, dicks. Possibly. GG. Hey man, what a shame. It's just we we gotta work so hard, and and he's just gotta confirm his abilities more than anything, and you know keep me out with autos. We're doing it though, the one YOLO chance. What's up Zodiac, how you doing man? Sucks so badly. Get shit on though. Get shit on though. going in. It's GG. Fuck my life, man. Fuck my life. Ah. Imagine I had my... Oh, maybe we could have won this with full crit. Maybe! That engagement was close. If we can get this Phoenix back up, I believe. Do you believe? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Dude, fuck. Oh, I can't defend against this full fucking wave of fire creeps. Oh, and you're really gonna scum me, ugly. You're really gonna do that. I'm gonna fuck you up for that. Oh, no. Please just. Wow. You're actually a fuckboy. GG. GG boys, I'm sorry. I tried, I think the full crit build could have worked out here given that he didn't go shield of the underworld. As you can see, he switched over to Anemian and it looked like it was gonna work. I would love to see uh, in the future. I wish I switched it up sooner because clearly it wasn't working out unfortunately, but fuck, GG.